Bill Cahoy. Now, the last competitor in this NCAA Gymnastics Championships for 1980, Daryl Kerbell from Louisiana State. Kerbell had a 9.75 in his first round effort, so he would need 9.85 to win it outright, or 9.80 to tie Phil Cahoy, who is the current leader. And again, he's very long and swings so well as a double German giant. Comes out of that into an immediate Stalder shoot, named after a man named Joe Stalder. There's another Stalder the other direction. Sucks through. Now he's in an in dislocate giants or eagle giants. Oh, another German. Another double German. And immediate flyaway out of the double German. Well, is that cute? I've never seen that. Quite a way to end the meet. Daryl Kerbell of LSU, who was a high school teammate of Bart Connor in Skokie, Illinois. Take a look at the start of the routine now. Daryl Kerbell. All right, there's his cast. All right, he's going to come up high, suck his feet through. That's a reverse kip, immediate cast into a German giant. Now, he'll keep riding his hips up high, take a, a second German out of it. That's very well executed, very well. Comes out of that into another Stalder, into his, his first Stalder, rather. And for Kerbel, 9.80 is his score. Very good for Kerbel. Good enough to tie him with Phil Cahoy for the individual championship in the high bars. So there is Cahoy, who won one event outright, the parallel bars, and now shares this crown with Daryl Kerbel of Louisiana State, co-champions in the high bar. Randy Beard of the University of Oregon winds up third. Welcome.